Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dynamic Ship Simulator 3 ship review. In today's video, I'm going to review the Mary Yellow Class Cruise Ferry. This vessel costs 1.5 million credits and makes 10,500 credits per nautical mile. This ship can go 16.4 knots without any upgrades. I'm going to start off by going down to the bridge, which in my opinion is one of, if not the best, bridge that we've ever seen in this game. As you can see, it's very, very detailed. I really like it. You can see there's stations on the, like these little computer areas on the starboard and port side. This is, I think, no, it's up here. This is, the middle seat is where you um, control the ship as a captain. This is what the horn sounds like. So it is a very long horn and it's the exact same as the solid class cruise ferry. This is also what the alarm sounds like. So it's just sort of the classic bell ringing alarm. Um, of course the lights turn red, but they're kind of delayed. Um, hopefully those go away. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. The lights on the ship turn on and off whenever, like all of them turn on and off whenever you deploy, or not deploy, whenever you turn on the lights, which is really nice. The navigational lights, we have one down there, one down there, and then we have the white light right up there. The ship does transport cars, which I did forget to mention, but I'm sure most of you probably figured that out if you have used the Sally Class Cruise Ferry before. And of course the name kind of gives it away. But there is, so there is a car deck, and the way you get into it, well, there actually isn't really any way to get into it normally, which I find is pretty weird. But, this, like, mo a lot of the bow at the front actually opens up which exposes the car deck, and at the back there's these two ramps that will go down, and there you can see a very, very big car deck. But there is no way to get into it other than jumping down onto it, which I think is really weird. I don't know. Like, I feel like they probably could have added that, but it still is a really big car deck that you can get into, which is nice. Um, I'm going to close these back up. I love the animations. They're the same as the Sally Class Cruise Ferry. Very nice. And of course, with this update, they did add the alarms that will notify you that uh, they're opening. But I would be kind of concerned if you didn't know that they were opening because that's sort of something hard that's hard to notice. Um, anyways, you can see I left the navigation lights on, so it's kind of red over here. There is this one door which does have a staircase, similar to the Sally Class Cruise Ferry, which does take you down to the bow of the ship. So this is that's like. The only other interior of the ship, besides the bridge, is this one staircase, which I think is kind of funny. Up here, um, I'm going to just kind of take a walk around. There are these benches, which uh, are the press E to sit kind, so you're not accidentally um, hopping into them. Not accidentally sitting down, which is, of course, a struggle, but I've noticed that all the newer ships have started to go into like the press E to sit instead of just automatically sitting down when you walk near them. So there's... Two different life types of lifeboats on this boat. This one and this one. There's, I think, only four of these. Oh, no. Two of these and then six of the other type. If you come down towards the back, you can see how there's lifeboats. These ones are not functional. So if you come down here, it's a very, very big ship. There is one other area at the back of the ship, where it, which does have a lot of seating area, which is really nice. Sit down all these seats. Just enjoy the water going by. And I guess I probably should open that back up so I can get back into the um, get back into the car bay just so I can show you what it's like, even though there isn't really actually a good way to get into it. Okay, so I've just opened the back ramps, so let's hop down there. This is the only way you can actually get into it. You could try going through the bow, but this is definitely the easiest way to get into it. And just like the Solid Cross Cruise Ferry, this is like the exact same car deck as it, except for Right here, where you could usually go up um, to the top deck through these, there's usually a staircase right here on the Solid Class Cruise Area. But it's not there on the Marielle class, and so there isn't a way. I think that they could definitely try to add a staircase there, and it would make it a lot better. Just so this car deck isn't like completely useless. I mean, obviously it holds the cars, but I, think, I still think it would be really nice if there was actually a way to get down here. This is where the bow opens up. This Right, the, it'll open up and that ramp will go down, and uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get back up, but I'm going to have to try to find a way, because 
yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Okay, so I did actually have to reset my character to get back up here. So do keep that in mind. Once you go down there, there is no way to get back up. So if you're in the middle of ferrying cars, do not go down there because you will not be able to get back up. So just don't, just don't do it. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very nice ship. I do wish there was an interior, but I understand that it, that would take a lot of work. And there already is one, which is Sonic Class 3 Ferry, of course. If you are not in it for the money and you just want to have a really good looking ship, I'd say go for the Solid Class Cruise Ferry. But if you do want money, which of course I think is the main reason people would get the ship, then obviously do get the Marielle class because it does give you a lot more money. Yeah, this one's 1.5 million. The Solid Class is 300,000. They're very, very similar, except in the way that they make money and the Solid Class has a complete interior and this one doesn't. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys all later. Bye.